हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड आफ्टरनून वेलकम बैक टू अवर आई टी सेक्शन स्टैंडर्ड फोर्थ चैप्टर थर्ड मेमरी यूनिट सो स्टूडेंट्स वॉट वी हैड लर्न इन प्रीवियस चैप्टर यस एडवांस लोगो देन टर्टल then the different types of commands and their uses and draw and do calculations with the logo so today we are going to learn our third chapter memory unit so students tell me how we can remember everything yes right because of we have a brain similarly the computer also has a memory which is used to store all the data and instructions the computer memory refers to devices that are used to store data or program inside a computer on a temporary or a permanent basis for use a computer uses its memory to store information the memory devices are also called a storage devices computer memory stores data that is accessed by the central processing unit cpu the cpu contain circuits that control and execute these instructions a computer store information in the form of 0 and 1 these are called binary digit or bits a memory unit is defined as a device that store information for retrieval a hardware device such as hard disk or floppy disk is used to record and store data so such devices are known as memory units memory units are also known as storage devices memory units are classified into two types first primary memory and second secondary memory primary memory the primary memory is known as the main memory of the computer it store program and data which are required by the cpu it is fixed inside the motherboard and inside the cpu primary memory which is stored data and instructions for processing it is further classified into two types first ram and second row second secondary memory it is a permanent storage memory it allows to change print copy move or delete data whenever required like hard disk compact disk dvd and pen drive are some storage devices of a computer so let us learn about the different types of memory first ram the ram stands for random access memory the ram is like a black board on which you can write notes and read them and erase them when done ram is working memory you can store data temporarily in a specified location 
and later when it is not required you can write over that is erase it and store another data over it ram is also called as volatile memory as the contents of ram is lost when the computer is switch off second rom rom stand for read only memory rom is a type of permanent memory in a rom or read only memory as the name suggest you can only read the contents it does not allow the user to edit and store data or program the programs like the translators for high level programs and operating systems such as windows are installed into rom only the manufacturer can install these programs into the rom and once installed they cannot be changed it is like a book which can only be read and not change or edited rom enables the computer not to lose programs and data when it is switch off it is also known as non volatile memory now secondary memory or secondary storage devices the secondary storage is also called auxiliary storage it is an external memory to the main body of the computer where programs and data can be stored and used again in the future it is also known as external storage device there are many external storage devices available today which are used to store data first floppy disk second dvd third hard disk fourth pen drive and fifth cd first floppy disk floppy disk is 3.5 inch floppy disk can be stored of 1.44 mb which is the approximate of 500 pages of written text on paper to make use of floppy disk you need a floppy disk drive installed on the cpu it is used as a backup for personal data of limited content it is coated with iron oxide and stores data magnetically just like a hard disk floppy disks were used in past now they have been replaced by pen drives second hard disk today's computers usually have a hard disk which contains data between 10 to 1000 gigabytes of storage capacity the hard disk are usually have the capacity to hold more data and information and are faster than other external devices like floppies pen drives cds and dvds third compact disc it means cd rom compact disc it is also known as cd it is an optical disc used to store digital data it was originally developed to store only music exclusively but nowadays it is also used to 
store different types of data like movies animation pre presentations and takes data apart from only sound it is much preferred storage media compared to pen drives and other storage devices as a one time backup of content a standard cd of a diameter of 120 mm can hold up to 80 minutes of compressed audio music 700 mb of data cd rewritable version of cd rom it can be re-record and rewrite about 650 mb of data to store cd rewritable media for an unlimited number of times next is a digital video disc it means dvd a digital video disc looks like a compact disc which reads data at a faster rate than a cd it mainly stores videos pictures music and data there are many types of dvds such as dvd this stands for digital versatile video disc dvdr stands for dvd recordable and last dvd it means rw stands for dvd rewritable the dvd rom has data which can be only read and not written dvd rewritable can record and erase data multiple times next is a pen drive a pen drive is also known as usb flash drive is a portable data storage device today pen drives have replaced the floppy disk and have become the most popular data storage devices among users nowadays pen drives are available with storage capacity ranging from 2 to 8 gb and 32 gb it can be used to store graphics heavy documents photos music files and video clips pen drive are also known as thumb drive jump drive mini usb drive and pocket drive a pen drive has to be plugged into a usb port to transfer files documents and photos to a pc measuring unit of memory the unit of measurement is different for different products for example the unit of measurement for apples and potatoes is kilogram the unit of measurement for milk and other liquid products is liter similarly even computer has a unit of measurement to calculate the storage capacity of the computer the memory or storage capacity of a computer is measured in terms of byte kilobyte megabyte and gigabyte 8 bits is equal to 1 byte its short form is b next 1024 bytes is equal to 1 kilobyte its short form is kb 
ट्वेंटी फोर किलो बाइट इज इक्वल टू मेग वन मेगा बाइट इट्स शॉर्ट फॉर्म इज एम बी वन थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फोर मेगा बाइट इज इक्वल टू वन जीगा बाइट इट्स शॉर्ट फॉर्म इज जी बी वन थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फोर जीगा बाइट इज इक्वल टू वन टेरा बाइट इट्स शॉर्ट फॉर्म इज टी बी फॉर एग्जाम्पल अ पेन ड्राइव स्टोरेज कैपेसिटी रेंजेस फ्रॉम टू जी बी टू थर्टी टू जी बी सो स्टूडेंट्स एवरी वन हैव अंडरस्टूड दिस चैप्टर मेमरी यूनिट so now tell me how many types of memory did you see in this lesson yes two first is a primary and second secondary very good now tell me the names of primary memory yes first is a ram and second rom very good Now tell me the names of secondary memory. Yes, first is a floppy disk. Second, hard disk. Third, compact disk. Fourth, digital video disk. And fifth, pen drive. Very good. So I hope everyone have understood this chapter memory unit. Thank you. Stay home stay safe